we have tons of information regarding Ascent Creates future that was revealed in Ubisoft Forward event yesterday, titles and releases in immediate future, also like 2024 to 2027, upcoming titles. At this point hit the subscribe button so you won't ever miss anything that I upload. Final and free chapter for Valhalla, Ascent Creed Mirage, Red, Ascent Creed Hexe, Jade and yeah, the Netflix series. First thing we are gonna see in the Assassin's Creed series, it is of course gonna be the Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the last chapter, that is gonna be the free DLC, and hopefully we will find out how Eivor ended up in Vinland. Following by Assassin's Creed Mirage 2023, also in the horizon, codename Red and codename Jade, Jade will be a mobile game in ancient China 215 BCE, and of course codename Red, it is gonna take place in feudal Japan, Codename Hexe, in Germany that means which, most likely setting will be taking place in 1600s Europe. So what wasn't announced in Ubisoft Forward event, there was pretty much nothing about AC1 remake or the season pass for Mirage, but perhaps in the future we will know more. What comes to us as Great Mirage, that is gonna be a separate video, solely dedicated to that title, so stay tuned. As said previously, Ascent Creed Mirage, it is gonna be a title for 2023, for spring season, and what defined as spring? Well, spring it is defined as the months of March, April and May. There is also official storybook, The Golden City, Ascent Creed, in Amazon right now, and this title will be released on April 4th, 2023, so I would imagine we are gonna see Mirage like 2 to 6 weeks after that one. What comes to the release date of the last chapter? I really think it is gonna be like late October slash late November, just because we are still gonna see Tombs of the Fallen part 2 in Valhalla, so stay tuned for those ones, because I definitely will be making guides and perhaps even the open locations like in the first ones. Let's make a leap of faith in the Mirage, so quickly going over, we are gonna play as Basim in his youth, he's about 17 years old in this one, before he became an assassin. All of these events will be taking place in Baghdad, about 20 years before Valhalla, so we are gonna see the journey, how Basim became a Basim. We are also gonna see the struggles of Basim's nightmares, most likely throughout taking order members, and perhaps even by completing the challenges that we know from Valhalla as Animus Anomalies. Basim will be recruited into the Hidden Ones by his upcoming mentor Roshan, approximately 50 year old woman and pretty much a leader of the creed at the moment. She sees potential and helps him flee Baghdad to the Hidden Ones fortress of Alamut. And the Alamut castle, it is gonna be shown for the first time in Assassin Creed series. The fortress, it is located in Persia, which served as a capital for the Hidden Ones, hence they haven't quite adopted the name Assassins at this point in the history, not just yet. Make no mistake, the Hidden Ones are powerful and established order. As Basim explores Baghdad, he'll be able to get contracts and upgrades from the network of the Hidden Ones Bureau throughout the city, collect clues on his targets and take them down with swift assassinations or any other way. In Mirage we are not gonna have bows, instead we are gonna have throwing knives, served as ranged weapons, also smoke bombs, rogue dagger and the dual assassination it is making a comeback. Like said in the previous videos, I still see this more like 90 degree turn instead of complete 180. Moving on to the mobile game, in ancient China to be exact, 215 BCE, the code name Jade, like said it is gonna be a mobile game, according to Ubisoft, it is gonna be free to play, that allows players to create their own character and discover unique standalone storyline. So let me know in the comments down below, is it a good idea that this is gonna be a mobile game, or should this be like full on AAA title for consoles, for PC, and not just a mobile, let me know in the comments down below.
let's jump from the mobile game to the near future release, aka the last chapter for Valhalla. This potentially could actually be pretty huge story arc, but that's not all for year two of Valhalla. Like said earlier, we actually should be seeing a Tombs of the Fallen part two at some point this year. And like Ubisoft has said, whole year two will be free for the players and I will be covering the Valhalla and I will be doing my best to bring you the information about the tombs, about the last chapter and everything that is going on in Valhalla. Definitely keep your eyes on the channel. I'm not gonna be covering that much of the Netflix series, but it is coming and I will keep you updated when it is in the Netflix for you to watch. From closure events, let's move on to the little bit distant future events, aka AC Infinity, in form of Assassin's Creed Red and also with Assassin's Creed Hexe. As we can see in the trailers, we are having multiple spheres. I actually think those are gonna be the maps, eras, for example, one sphere we are gonna have red and in the one we are gonna have a hex just like we are gonna see in the trailer so multiple spheres we can choose the story that we are gonna play and also Ubisoft is working on for bringing multiplayer back into the AC franchise so hexe and red which one is your favorite which one you are gonna be waiting for because for me personally I'm so waiting for the hex I mean I love the magical stuff but moving on, this is actually a possibility that we are having like a centerpiece and after that we are having multiple different maps, different eras, basically different games, story arcs on the title screen. That is just one possibility. So every time they are releasing a new title for Infinity, a new spear with a new logo will pop up and you can choose the story and jump between eras, between AC games. How awesome that would be. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know what do you think about the future of the Assassin's Creed franchise? Is it going backwards, forwards? Is it good? Is it bad? Let me know that and much more. But before ending this video, I really want to shout out my channel members, aka the Elite Wolfpack. Also, huge shout out to top donators of the channel. You guys are really helping me to get more and better content out. Can't thank you guys enough. For now, stay tuned and let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching, remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Wolfpack, have fun, stay safe, be strong, hope to see you in the next one, Skatha, over and out, and bye bye.